Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our 2013 V-Twin and Cruiser Motorcycle Boot Guide, available at RevZilla.com. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through a handful of different boots that are really gonna be V-Twin Cruiser focused, but there are a few of them that could really cross over into a lot of different riding styles. Mix of prices starting around the $100 mark, moving into that $250 mark. And again, some are gonna be investments in style, some are gonna be investments in protection. It depends on what you're going for. Keep in mind that you can watch a full detailed breakdown video on any of these boots by clicking right here and shopping this collection at RevZilla.com. And it's part of our wider guide series for 2013. We're not just boots, we go into different styles. There's also jackets, helmets, gloves. So if you need a starting point on any of the gear that you're evaluating right now, if you want some ideas, you can start there for our top picks at RevZilla.com slash guides. So starting to my right, I'm going to start out with the baby in the bunch. This is around 95 bucks. This is the Tourmaster Nomad 2.0. Very, very lightweight, but has a very beefy look to it. Flexible stole, it's going to have a waterproof liner that's built in, so it's gonna give you a little bit of multi-seasonality, but it's going to be classic in its design. Really just a black work boot, sizes up to 14, American cut, so no surprises there, with a nice strap to pull everything together, and that strap is actually for show. It's actually a snap there that brings it all back together. But again, from Tourmaster, that's gonna be a lightweight boot, that has a nice beefy lug sole to it and will perform in a lot of different riding styles if you're just looking for something basic. Now, moving on to the second boot in the mix, this is really a do-it-all boot, a little bit more of a progressive work boot option. I like it in this mix because this wheat color on the Super Duty 4 from Icon at 120 bucks really kind of taps into that Timberland style. Now, there's a brown, which is darker. There's also a full-on black. You can see the way that this is cut, the way it's stitched together. It's definitely more progressive. I mean, in my opinion, I could see a guy on a sport bike that might be a stunner gravitating toward this boot, or I could see somebody with a pair of baggy jeans on a fat boy, just the same, rocking this out, no problem. This is really my pick in this category if you want to go more along that Timberland side of things or if you just want a more progressive style of boot. Notice you do have more ankle protection at 120 bucks too, both laterally and medially. That's the inside and the outside. Moving over, this is the most expensive boot on the table and there's a bit more of a story. This is called the Dionese Cafe, $260. Yeah, it's a real investment. Italian styled, really kind of that 60s inspired, um, cafe style boot, very classic. You see a, guys, a lot of guys might have their tighter jeans on with this, part of the cafe movement, very popular on the West Coast. Dionese is taken and they said, we're gonna give the leather a different sheen. We're gonna give it an air gap liner that's gonna allow your foot to breathe. Remember, it's going to be more of a Euro style and a Euro cut, laces all the way up. And you can see on the inside of it that you have a nice big shifter panel. So you're not gonna wear through that really beautiful leather. Notice too that you can see that there's medial and lateral ankle protection built in. But again, for those of you that don't know Dionese, you're gonna invest more because they're thinking about technical. They're also thinking about protection and style, Italian fashion coming out of Vicenza, Italy. Also, I'd love to hear your feedback on RevZilla TV. So click right here to subscribe. Leave us your questions, your comments, your concerns, your reaction to anything we picked here today as part of this guide, but leave it in the comments. Moving into the next boot, the River Road Square Toed Harness, a classic Harley Davidson option. There's a round toe version. It's got the harness here on the left, lightweight in its protection on the sides, but it goes all the way up. Now we're on kind of the full height side of the table at around 145 bucks. Notice the stacked heel. Notice if we turn it over, you're gonna see a very classic approach. And me personally, I'm a big square-toed boot fan. I think you could rock this boot on the bike, off the bike. It's gonna perform and look really well, or look really great. But again, you're looking at a middle investment, still sub $150 for you guys riding, riding in HD out there. There's not a whole lot of guys that, wouldn't, that couldn't have this in their closet and wear it whenever they wanted. Moving into a completely different flavor now. Now we're back to cafe, but we're back to throwback cafe. This is really a homage to 1970s MX. On the West Coast, you have the cafe racer movement that's really taking hold. A lot of people customizing their bike. This is called the Icon Elsinore at around the $245 mark. There's a short version of it called the El Bajo as well. Part of Icon 1000, which means it's upgraded. You can see that the buckle style, really, it throws back. This is, this is a 70s MX boot that really has an old school style with a new school level of protection, both in the leather, the shift panel for protection, the way that it's finished out on the inside with the zipper that all goes all the way down, American sizes, a few colors available, including the Glory, which is a red, white, and blue pattern. But honestly, I have it in our Cruiser V Twin video because I think that a lot of cafe guys, if this really suits a more aggressive style, this could be a great option. Notice the way the soles put together too. Icon has really upped their game in a lot of their offerings that are touching more riders at this point. The last boot in our mix today, part of our full height collection. This is called the Dionese V-Twin. It's also the only other waterproof boot on the table. 
Upgraded leather, goes full height, round toe option, gonna look great on the bike or off the bike. Notice that you have protection on the lateral side as well as the medial style. You have a buckle across the top. Classic and simple Dionese logos. You do have that upgraded liner that we saw here on the cafe. You're looking at around the $220 mark for the Dionese V-Twin. Again, it's one of those things, depending on what you're going for, it might just suit your style. Keep in mind, it's gonna be European sizes. So keep in mind that you can watch any of the detailed breakdown videos in this collection by clicking right here and shopping this collection at RevZilla.com. This is our V-Twin and Cruiser boot guide. There are four other boot guides as well as a ton of other gear guides for 2013. You can find that at RevZilla.com slash guides. As always, we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. And you can get in touch with a gear geek. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455 if you need any help walking through either the nuance or really the key selling points on any of the boots we walked through today. I'm Anthony, thanks for joining us for our 2013 V-Twin and Cruiser Motorcycle Boot Guide. We'll see you next time.